Hi, I'm J.D. Brake, and welcome to Field Engineering. And with me today, for the first time, is Elijah Montgomery. Elijah, how are you, sir? Great, J.D. How are you? I'm great. Well, first of all, tell the people here, what do you do here at Jackson? Uh, I'm a senior product engineer here, so I, I do product support and technical support. Um, so I mainly assist um, I assist folks internally here at Jackson Systems and assist uh, contractors over the phone with technical, technical issues. Awesome. So you know your stuff, and That's you talk say. to our techs all day, every day. Yes, so sir. you've got some experience there. Now, I want to do specifically talk about a product that we carry uh, from IO HVAC Controls a popular product called the IO Titan thermostat. That's right. um, this extremely versatile, um, very well-priced thermostat, very affordable, pretty much does everything. Um, kind of tell us about the Titan in depth, what this is known for. So the Titan is a touchscreen thermostat. It's, uh, it's a universal thermostat, so it can, it can do anything from just a heat-only system up to a three-heat, two-cool heat pump with dual fuel. Um, and uh, it's... it's its main selling point is that it's it is that versatile. It's a universal thermostat at a pretty mm -hmm. uh, pretty attractive price point. Awesome. So what we're going to do today is we're going to kind of walk through programming of it because I know every thermostat's different how you program, and that's really the big step to get over is to get comfortable with programming the thermostat because if you're a tech and you're used to one way and a thermostat's the other way, you're just going to throw it away because a lot of time they don't take the time to learn to program the thermostat just because it's different. So, right. Elijah, kind of walk us through this thermostat. It's it's programmable, correct? Absolutely. So, are we like five and two or? Uh, it's seven day programmable. Seven, okay. Um, so, by default, factory settings, it comes uh, set for seven day programmable, um, and you can change that to manual if you like. Um, How do we get in there? So, the first thing you'd want to do is go into the installer menu to make sure that your, um, your basic settings are all set up correctly. So, the first thing we're going to do is go into the installer menu. So we're going to tap the screen to wake it up a little bit. And then we're going to press and hold on the mode area and the clock area. And the first thing that's going to come up is our programmability. So it can either be seven day programmable, zero means manual. Um, so we're going to leave it on seven. Um, and then the second screen is going to be your selection for either commercial or residential programmability. Okay. Um, so that's a four schedule or a two schedule. So Just we're going like to do the away and correct. occupy. So we're going to do we're going to do the four schedule, the residential style. Okay. Um, and then uh, as the installer, you want to go through all the all the installation options. Um, those are all listed in the installation manual. Um, make sure everything's set up right before you go into programming. Um, just to make sure you don't you don't have to do programming twice. Sure. Um, so if you're going to be installing this, uh, there are some applications where where people install these thermostats for a much higher set point range than typical. Like for example, hot yoga studios. Hot um, yoga. You want to make sure you change the set point limits in the menu before you do your programming, or you won't be able to get the temperature up high enough. How high is it? Isn't it like 122 degrees? Uh, the set the set point range uh, can go all the way up to 120 degrees. Nice. Um, I don't know of any other stats that do that. Uh, just this and the uh, the T32P. Nice. Okay. So yeah, walk us through here how we uh, program kind yep. of the awake, the sleep, yes, away so, and home. So once once you've got your your uh, installer settings set up, uh, you're going to want to make sure obviously your clock is set correctly first um, for the current date and time. So, so what are you doing here? Just holding the yep, clock? Just holding the clock there. Okay. Just wait for the chirp. Yep. And it'll it'll basically show it's like pro programming a VCR. So it's, what's that? Uh, yeah, uh, it's it's currently 10 a.m. here. So you just tap the time to go to the next option. And what's the date? And you'll see as you change the date, it changes the day. Okay. Get the year set up. Looks correct to me. So when we're done, we now have the correct day and time set. Um, and then once the day and time set, um, we can go into the actual programming. Okay. Um, so you want to make sure before you go into the programming, you know what set points you're going to want um, for each day. Like I said, this has this is a seven day programmable, so you can set completely different set points and times for every day of the week if you want. 
um, but there's also a copy function in here we'll show you um, that, that will allow you to, once you get one day set, copy it over to other days. So you don't have to necessarily program every day awesome. if you're going to have repeated schedules. Right. Um, but you're going to make sure you have your times and, and temperatures um, laid out. Um, probably write them down. Um, again, we're doing a residential programmable, so that's typically a four schedule program. Right. So your four, four schedules, we'll typically call them, um, a lot of times they'll be referred to as wake, leave, return, sleep. Yep. So wake is when you wake up in the morning. Um, leave is when you leave the house to go to work. Mm -hmm. Returns when you come home from work. Um, the period in the evening where you're where you're hanging around at home and sleeps when you go to bed. So Sounds you're going to want to set those set points for that for that period in general if that's how you're going to do them. Right. Um, you can use that for for any four schedule setup. So you can mess around with the with the times as as you please. Um, but for a residential, that's a typical type of programming. Uh, if you're doing commercial, it's going to be a two schedule. Um, occupied during the day, unoccupied at night. Right. Um, so you're going to want to have those times and, and temperatures set. And once you're ready to go, you just wake the thermostat up, and you're going to press and hold at the bottom here where it says program. And that's to get into the programming yep. by days. Okay. Yep. And you're going to start. It's going to show you the uh, the first day. So it's showing Monday flashing. Uh, if we want to go into Monday, just hit program again to go to the next option. And then we're going to have our first time period. So 6 a.m., uh, it was a pretty good time to wake Oof, up. That's, that's early. That's when I wake up, JD. Um, you go hit program to go to the next thing. It also shows you we're, we're in our morning period here. So you do the hour, then the minutes. So you can set for a particular minute. Mm, I want to make sure we don't have that happen. Nope. Okay. Now, if you wait too long and it goes back to sleep, does it kick you out of the menu? It will. It'll time yeah. out. Um, so you get your hours. You got your minutes. Your minutes are flashing, so we can just set that for 6 a.m. Uh, and then we have our cooling set point. Uh, that's set for 78, so let's bring that down to 74. That's still way too hot. In the summertime? No way. No. Let's make it 72. Heating set point 68 is pretty good. Um, and again, we, we're setting this up as an auto changeover, so we'll have a heating and a cooling set point. Um, if you do get through to a point... Um, you can skip ahead, but we're on, let's see, cooling, heating set point, 60. So we have an 85, 60 during the day, so we have a pretty good set back there. Yeah. Now we're in the evening, 4 p.m. Uh, cooling set, let's make it a little cooler. Let's go back down to 72. We want to be nice and comfy. Heating set, 68. That's pretty good. And then 10 p.m. at night... I don't know about you, JD, but that's when I go to bed. Cooling set point. It's late for me. <laughs> Cooling set point. Let's make it a little cooler at night. A lot of people like it yeah. cooler at night. Oh, yeah. 60 is a little on the cold side for heating. Let's bump that up to 67. Um, and then here's our copy. So on our copy option, we're gonna. it's going to let us add days to copy this to. So if I want all five weekdays to be the same, i got Monday through Friday. And then I'll just hit that, and it's going to copy. When copy flashes, it shows you it's copying. So I just so programmed you're... Monday through Friday. So now you're on okay? the weekend. So I've got Monday through Friday set. Now I just need to schedule my uh, my Saturday. Now, can you group Saturday and Sunday together? Or yes, is you it can. Just... And I'll okay. show you that here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these arrow keys to go ahead and skip ahead to Saturday. Hit program. And I'm going to set my Saturday. So I am not waking up at 6 a.m. on Saturday. Ooh. I'm going to sleep in Saturday. Nice and cool when I wake up, though. <laughs> 71. And 8 a.m. So what I'm going to do here for Saturday, because my sc Saturday schedule is different. I'm not going to work on Saturday. So right. I'm actually not going to do a setback during the middle of the day on Saturday. So I'm just going to program. I still got to program my each each period, but I'm going to program them with the same, with the same temperature. So, That's pretty typical so, on a weekend. So yeah. it's just home away pretty, pretty much, much. On So I'm just going to do yeah, 4 p.m. I'm just going to keep at the same set points all day long. Now this has auto changeover, right? Yes, it does. Okay. So that means uh, that means we're setting a set point range. Right. Um, and if it goes, if the temperature goes too high, we'll go mm -hmm. into cooling. If it goes too low, we'll go into heating. Perfect. And then 10 p.m. 
I still go to bed at 10 on, on the weekend. <laughs> but let's make it a little cooler. I don't know what that was. <laughs> you just programmed it. That was the magical <laughs> chime that happens when you program the thermostat. No, it doesn't do that. And then the copy comes up again. So I'm going to add Sunday to that. Okay. And hit program. And it'll be copying. And once that stops blinking, it'll go back to the main screen. And I will be all set. There we go. It's not that complicated. It's not. It's really, so the main difference is between getting into the installer menus is holding those two buttons together. That's right. Versus the programming, just holding the programming. Mm -hmm. And then just follow the prompts. Exactly. And let me show you one more thing. Sure. Once you're back here on the main screen, okay. one thing I want to point out is if you ever make a manual change on this thing, mm -hmm. you're probably going to see hold down at the bottom. If you see hold down at the bottom, all that programming you just did isn't going to do anything. Right. So you want to make sure you press that, and it's going to say either program or hold all right you want it to say program as long as it says program at the bottom it's going to be executing the schedules that you just put in right and programmable stats will save you money instead of just putting it on there at one standpoint. point i know a lot of contractors have customers that they cannot break that habit stress right. that programmable thermostats will save you money yep. on the back end well very good i learned a lot about the uh, titan stat here thank you for joining us elijah Hopefully you guys learned a lot. If you have any questions, you can always contact us directly and even talk to this guy at 866-888-652-9663. Uh, That's the number, 888-652-9663. Or you can send us an email at info at jacksonsystems.com. Elijah, thanks for coming on. We appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, you guys for watching Field Engineering, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smack that like button below. And if you want notifications on brand new videos that are coming out tailored just for you, be sure to subscribe right here to the Jackson Systems YouTube channel. Now, if there's some videos you missed, you can always check it out right here. Go ahead and click. Subscribe. Other videos. Like. Do it.